Hi and welcome to Kalish Times. My name is Rube and I'm here at the head office of Fine Hygienic Holding in Jabal Ali uh, to interview a very special man. And I say this because very rarely you come across someone with so many titles and accomplishments. So when I read about Mr. James Michael Lafferty, I couldn't help myself but wonder if it's all one man. He is the CEO of Fine Hygienic Holding, a global wellness company. He's an Olympic coach, an award-winning journalist, a professor, a brilliant speaker. In fact, I highly recommend some of his videos that I found on YouTube. They're truly inspiring. He's also a philanthropist, a husband, and a father of five. So it would be no surprise to say that wherever you read or you hear about Mr. James Lafferty, he's often referred as one of the most diversified, unique, dynamic CEOs in the world today, and we couldn't agree more. And interestingly, he started his career at the age of 19 as a track and field coach in Cincinnati, Ohio, at a school system where he taught kids, you know, how to run faster, how to long jump, how to high jump. And then he qualified for the esteemed brand management program at Procter & Gamble, and then rest is history. He rose through the ranks to become the chief executive officer at Procter & Gamble in Poland and the Baltic States. He was also the CEO at Coca-Cola in Nigeria, uh, the CEO at uh, British American Tobacco Company in the Philippines. And finally, he assumed the role of uh, Chief Executive Officer in 2015 at Fine Hygienic Holding uh, Company here in the UAE. So my first question to you, James, is what next? A Hollywood movie inspired by you? I'm not so <laughs> sure about that, but um... No, what's next is uh, I will continue to, to take roles that challenge me. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe in being comfortable. I think comfort is an enemy of all of us. You want to be uncomfortable. And I want to use the roles that I do to try to improve the world. We all have a choice in life. We can leave the world like we found it. We can leave it worse or we can leave it better. And I, I try to do everything I can to leave the world better off than how I found it. Wow, you know, when I was just saying all those things, all the different hats that you wear, I was literally running out of breath. So I wonder, how do you find the time to be all of this and, you know, play all these roles so successfully and wonderfully? I think it's a, a factor of three things. The first is I'm very good at time management. I'm okay. very efficient. I do yeah. things once I decide. I don't over complicate things. I make quick decisions. Secondly, I take good care of myself. I eat right every day. I don't have cheat meals. Yes. And uh, I exercise seven days a week. And as a result of that, wow. my sleep is very effective. I get by in five to six hours a night. I wake up full of energy. Uh, I take no caffeine, not, wow. not a single drop of caffeine. And I'm able to, to operate and I'm going on 60 years old. So it's a, really a function of taking care of your health that helps you then be so productive because it's about managing time and managing energy. Wow. And so, you know, those are the big factors. The final thing is, is that what I call the five finger roll concept. Yeah. Uh, data will show that the average one of us, all of us have about 22 roles. A, a role example is you're a wife one, mother two, yes. daughter three, sister four, uh, that you see that we have all have different roles. It doesn't matter how many you have in life. What matters is, is you can only do five well. And so you need to know those five. And so I've made my choices. Husband, I'm gonna do that right. Father, I'm going to do that right. CEO, this pays the bills, I'm going to do that right. Coaching and philanthropy, great love of mine and to help the world. And right. the final one is, is I can't do all those if I don't take care of myself. So my fifth role is Jim the athlete. And that's all I do. I'm not the greatest brother in the world. I think my sisters and brothers would say we don't hear enough from them. I'm not the best cousin in the world. You can't do everything. Can't and so you pick your battles yeah. in life. You pick the roles in life. And so I'm a big believer in those top five roles. So you make the choices. I, I'm going to strive harder, you know, to fulfill those top five roles in my life. I'm going to. I'm taking a note actually that I'm going to start exercising more often. I don't think so. I can go off coffee. You know, that is something that I need every morning, but then definitely I'm going to incorporate a few things for sure. Uh, James, tell me something that you've had such a successful career. You've been long in the game with a career spanning with 30 years across five continents. You've helped build businesses for some of the top FMCG companies. What made you join Fine Hygienic Holding here in the UAE and relocate uh, to the country? You know, one of the beautiful elements of Buddhism is the concept of reincarnation. And I've always wondered about it because from the moment I first came to the Middle East, I suddenly felt at home. And I, it's not like that happens in other, in all countries yeah, or cultures. This cultures. place does There was too. something about it yeah. from the people, the culture, the food, the environment, everything about the Middle East I adore. 
Yeah, so and, it just kind of And clicked. it just clicked. And I always yeah. wondered, maybe I reincarnated from a, a previously <laughs> someone from the region. Yeah. And, and so I, I adored it. I worked here for many years in different roles in Procter & Gamble. Mm -hmm. And I was living in the Philippines and fine called for a, a board seat to be a representative on the oh, board. Wow. And I jumped at it because I love the region so much. Mm -hmm. And I had such respect for the fine company. I knew them uh, in my previous life at Procter & Gamble, an outstanding company, great ethics, uh, you know, based in the region. So I took that role and then it, it morphed over time into the, the CEO role. Mm -hmm. And I jumped at that, not only to help the company, but my love of this, this region. Oh, wow. Uh, and, you know, because we're talking about the fine hygienic uh, holding company here in the UAE, from what I read, you know, the company was established in 1958, a time when hygienic paper products were not easily available in the MENA region. So they were, you know, sort of the ones who introduced the people to the highest quality of products like tissue uh, paper or tissue wipes right. and toilet paper. It's been 62 years since then, and the product portfolio has tremendously grown. So tell us a little bit about that. When people look, they'll talk about the Steve Jobs story and Apple, or they'll talk about Bill Gates and, and Microsoft. These stories pale in comparison to our company, which was started by a Palestinian refugee moving to Jordan with several dollars in his pocket, wow. yeah. married with a young family. I mean, it's an amazing story, and, and he built up this market leader, this, this huge business with five paper mills around the world, and all that was built by a man with a couple of dollars and nothing but desire and a will to succeed. And it started as a tissue business. Yeah. And basically a tissue products of facial tissues and, and toilet paper and kitchen towels, all the products you see here. And then obviously uh, many tissue companies get into diapers. So we went into diapers, both adult and baby. 